So let's start with the EDA part. So let's name this section as EDA. And we already know there are no empty values, but still, if you want to check, the proper code for that will be Boston dot is null. And let's pass the sum function. Boston is not loaded. Let me run all the cells once more. Okay, so we can see that there are no, not really any empty values. Now let's check out the distribution of med v okay for that let's do sns dot set and we are going to set the figure rcs figure dot if you want to just set out the figure size but uh, as of now let's change this and just put a this plot this plot boston and I will just pass med v. Let's remove this as of now. I don't really want any size. If I put Boston. Okay, so it follows a binomial distribution. So it increases, and somewhere there are a bit of outliers, I guess, but it works. We don't need to do much of a things, but it, let's change the bins to 50. Okay, so this looks quite a good way to analyze it. And yeah, so this is quite a good distribution of meta v. So we don't need to do much of a thing over here. We can just keep it over here. But if you are curious, you can just descale it up. As this is the test so you cannot do much of the stuff over here. you cannot change the values over here or it will affect your machine learning evaluation model now one thing that you should be knowing that as we are having so many columns or so many features to predict the single feature that is med v okay this is the target variable med v and all of these are the features that should be affecting it but we have seen that some of these features are not quite important to med v so it wouldn't give me a proper fit if we just take all the data and put it to predict out med v to check that we have to check out the correlation okay again this is a statistical concept which you must be knowing if you have followed us from the statistics journey let's show you what is a correlation matrix so i'll just pass correlation matrix is equal to boston dot core core will just give me everything and let's round all the values if i want to check the correlation matrix i'll just pass this out and this is eventually now what i prefer is much of a graphical content rather than just looking at the numbers so for that let's put out a heat map over here so for heat map we have sns dot heat map data is equal to correlation matrix okay and let's keep now we have an heat map of this correlation matrix uh, if you don't know what exactly is correlation positive and negative correlation positive correlation is let's say we have a x value and we have a y value so if x increases y also increases okay and what is negative correlation if x increases y decreases so that's negative correlation and positive correlation these two kinds of correlation helps us to predict the value okay and in pearson correlation we have it in the range of zero and one okay the nearer it is to one the better the correlation is it can be a negative correlation or it can be a positive correlation as we have met v over here so you can see the correlation values 393936 three, which is very less for rm we have 0 0.7 which shows that it follows the positive correlation and for l stat it follows again negative correlation but 
these two values that is rm and lstat supports metv a lot so these two are quite equivalent to predict metv so you can also check out the graph of it let's plot the graph okay so this is the graph of lstat and rm i've changed the figure size this is the features and this is the th target value what over here i have done is for i call in enumerate features okay one by one the features along with the indexes that is zero and one index will go at subplot one we are just plotting out this one lstat med v and over here i have rm med v that's exactly what we are following over here so we can see that it is following a bit of correlation as lstat we can see that the values for lower values the med v value is increasing okay so as lstat increases med v decreases so med v is a negative correlation one increases the other one decreases now let's check it out for rm for rm you can see that as rm increases our med v also increases so it's a positive correlation so rm increases med v increases let's check rm so 0 0.7 which is again and positive correlation okay always check out the line you can see the line is from like this in this slope and this is a negative slope that's it for correlation and that's how you can figure out apart from that in our next video we are going to like start with train test split before that let's give x and y so x is equal to our pd dot data frame and we have np dot c underscore in this we will write boston this is one more way by which you can just get out the values okay personally you can follow whichever you feel like whichever you feel easy but my task is to help you go through each and every factor so the way we did in our previous lab that was in the univariate you can also try that out but let me show you one more technique to do it so np.c and then let's pass boston and we will pass let's start L. let's pass boston and we should be passing rm2 so we have everything right now what we need so npc boston and stat and then boston rm this okay now we need columns is equal to let's name l stat and and the name will be r so this looks quite good if you check okay this looks quite good we have the x value and let's run this first so we have some kind of error has no attribute data frame so it's a capital f so if i check x now so we have l stat and r the same thing we are going to do it for y so i'm just gonna copy this code okay so we have x value x dot head Okay, and let's check y dot head. Okay, these two are exactly what we need. That's it for this video. In our next video, we are going to start by train test split, and then we are going to fit our model, look into some visualization, and then jump into our evaluation matrix.